Five new image styles with one click. We've got the Archie sketch, cartoon, halftone or dotted, watercolor, and my personal favorite, the inverted Archie sketch. So let's start with the Archie sketch. If you remember with the blueprint style, I had a few layers that you needed to include in your file but this time I made it so easy and simple you don't need to do anything except select the style and hit play. And I'm not increasing the speed on these clips at all so that you can see exactly how long it takes. So I would say about 20 to 40 seconds to transform your boards. I really love the horizontal and vertical lines that it creates because it really truly feels like an archi sketch instead of just like a pencil sketch. This is how the other two boards look like. Even the 3D visualizations look so good with this style. Let's move on to cartoon. So for cartoon I wanted to do like a comic book style. So very vibrant pop-up colors. And if you zoom in as well you can see the texture that it creates. And whenever you're playing these action I've designed it so that it groups it all together. So if you wanted to remove anything from the effect you can just add a layer mask and then paint over the areas that you don't want in black. So my text is Times New Roman, but I feel like if you change the text to a different font, it will really show off the comic book style. These two boards show the style way more than the original one, and I think with like thick borders and text boxes, you can really bring out the comic book style. You know when you see artists drawing illustrations completely by dots, it's so so inspiring and I can imagine so so freaking time consuming. So I wanted to create something a little bit similar but way way quicker. Of course it's not the exact same thing but I feel like it's really close to it and I love it. I would personally add a layer mask and delete the text or any line drawings because you don't want like the plan or section to be dotted. I think this is mainly for diagrams and images. My personal favorite which is the inverted archi sketch. I cannot tell you how many comments I get about creating or doing visualizations that are black and white so I think this will be so popular with you guys. It's such a cool and edgy style that I think suits many projects. But with this one, do make sure that you have really good line weight because you can see from the diagram on the left, I feel like it doesn't pop as much as the ones on the right. And especially with such a dark background, you want things to pop and be readable. Last but not least is the watercolor effect. So this one, I would say it takes the longest out of all of them. Um, and I'm saying longest, but actually it takes just a minute. And this style adds almost like a, a light gray color or haze over the entire board. So if that's not your cup of tea, I would say lower the opacity of that layer to maybe 75 or 60. And that also makes the text more readable because if you do it, add a layer mask and then start erasing things, I feel like it could show unless you do it with a, a low opacity and a very soft brush. I wanted to add watercolor splashes on the style but I feel like every board is very different so I didn't want to generalize. So if you do want to take this up a notch I would say download a watercolor brush and maybe add a few splashes here and there to your style of course. I think that would really sell the watercolor effect. So in case you missed the blueprint video and you don't know how to install this, it's really simple. All you need to do is make sure that your action window is open and then from the three lines at the top, click on load action and load the file. You can find it in the description box, I'll have a link for download. I also created these tiles in a non-destructive way so that if you wanted to adjust or modify anything, all you gotta do is go into the group and you'll see the layers and the effects so if there's something that you want to reduce the opacity of or make it stronger you can do of course but that's it for me i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful i know that a lot of these styles you can probably produce 
yourself but what do you do if you've already created your board and you want something a bit more special this is a really great way and super quick to get a really high quality style that i think will impress your judges your tutors and probably even yourself thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time